Aloha, this is the Green Lighting Mr. T, and welcome back to some more Dishonor. They set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. Uh, I guess. Whenever he says that, it makes me think of when I woke up in my cell. <laughs> Not in real life, mind you, but yeah. By the way, I do apologize if my throat's a little off, or my voice, rather. My throat's a little bit well sore. Done. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The royal physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. And I my thanks, away. sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Yep. The good stuff. You know what happens in between chapters. I spend a whole episode on it. Like that last one where I did nothing. <laughs> I've never done that before. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can stop. <laughs> Are you done? Thank you. Okay. So, I've taken some... Ta I'm drinking some throat coke. Which is like a kind of tea. That helps, like, soothe your throat. However, I'm only like half... Sore, so... It's kind of a bit strong for me at the moment, so I'm gonna... Be slowly drinking it through this episode. And... By the way, I'm recording at home. This is spring break. I'm. This is actually going to be uploaded the same day I'm. I'm recording it. So. Yeah. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to. Speak. And I haven't. It's been a while since I played last. Also. As it was the last time. Because schoolwork does come first in my book. If I can't record and get my work done, then I have to do the work instead. And it looks like we... oh. <laughs> well, almost. It wasn't something else I wanted. It'd be nice to fill up in sleep bolts again, but I might be able to just grab enough money around the area just to fill this up. Well, the next chapter isn't so bad. I think I'll try and get just get the last upgrade because I like having everything now upgraded that we out. Now have Sokolov as a guest. Ask him how he deluded the academy into making him royal physician. Ask him how he stole my elixir for me. Will you do that for me? Oh, I hear some. Oh. Whatever you do, don't trust Sokolov, especially not on the subject of cetacean anatomy. Okay, don't know what any of that is. And Misty, I think that's the right word. I could be completely long, like I am half the time. So logic is flawed. Anyone can see that, and not. An original idea to be heard. His notes are a mess if he even keeps them. How he got this far is anyone's guess. He says what they want to hear. Friend of the rich. That's his method. Sokolov's true genius is pampering the aristocracy. Fools. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. They always add, like, new stuff for you to collect between chapters. Wouldn't it be nice if they could just do it all at the beginning, 
And I wouldn't have to go looking. If it weren't for Sokolov, oh. I'd be a senior fellow at the Academy. I will God, you really hate him, don't you? Okay, so... Samuel hasn't had a chance to record or anything. That's inside. And that doesn't look like that's available yet. So... I think I'll just listen to whatever audio logs... Oh, now there's more stuff. <laughs> As it is. I think I... Oh, that's right. If I remember from my editing, I used it on an alarm while running away very quickly. Something, something went wrong last episode. <laughs> Start the interrogation without you. Yay! Good news. So, excuse me as I read your clearly read your log entry in front of you. Although I'm not really reading it, I'm just letting you guys read it if you want. I've already read them all enough times. We're getting closer to reaching our goal, but our position is becoming course, more dangerous. I think it's the same exact thing as the book, anyways. Half dozen this. people without leaving telltale traces. Riverboats pass day and night, and the looters are going to start gathering once they're sure the plague has burned the place out. I conclude: if our enemies are not dead by the month of wind, we will be. There's a sadness in it, but she's strong. Weathering right, the there's Emily I can go see as well. Most grown men Once we take Dunwall Tower, I'll see that her life is better. I've always thought that I'd command the Navy in her name. Sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't just take the title Lord Regent and do it properly. Mm. Okay, Lady um... Emily Caldwell was abducted some six months past. At the moment of her mother's terrible murder, anyone with information okay, to so... the location or return of the daughter of our beloved late emperor is required to speak to I'm lazy. Watch at once. Alright. <laughs> well, this would be useful if I was going to go right to bed, but one last thing. How am I doing on time? Haven't done one of these in forever. And I think now it would now is the point where if you would talk to him he would tell you about being heavy he didn't kill his brothers off something like that I can't re quite remember but sure Ugh. please be as quiet as you can it took forever for Emily to fall asleep oh dear, dear. it's, it's okay, tossing Emily, and turning here. she seems happier when you're here Though I know you have important things to do out there in the city. Let's be so quiet. <laughs> There's hardly a need to work on table etiquette. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather hold her spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. 
Then suddenly she changes and she's all manners, asking for a tea party. I try to oblige her, but I have little to work with. No proper plates instead of a cloth napkin. I have only the bar rack. Ale mugs instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretend dinner using paper and little things she's found here and there. On the floor, I suppose. Not right for a princess, but it'll have to do. Please, please leave a candle for me. I, it gets dark in here and I, I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. Where is Corvo? That is so sad. I wonder if you can actually wake her up. I've never tried it, but that'd be really impolite. Of course, maybe it's what she w would want, just to see me again. Oh well. For now. We sleep. And apparently snoring. Oh god. <laughs> I've never done that before. Okay. Corvo, wake up. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. You can stay here whenever you want. Calista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Okay. Yay! Aww. And here's something I'll note. Depending on which path you're taking, or heading towards whether you want it or not, um, she'll draw you with, with your mask on or off. And she thinks me, I'm her daddy. Okay, so quickly going to check all of the logs. Dear Uncle, and yes, they're different. It's been a while since I've heard from you, and with the way things are going, I can't be sure we'll see each other again. I just wanted to tell you I'm doing well, and I'm safe, for now. My job, caring for a young girl, is better than I expected, though she can be very trying. But I'm treated well. There is enough to eat. I fare better than most, I suppose. We are the last of our family, Uncle Kurnow. We just have to go on living, if we can. May we see each other soon. Your niece, Callista. Oh, dang. As I said before, I've never actually listened, go, gone through and listened to all the audio logs. I've pre I've read most things, but um, like I didn't like in between um, everything watch them as they changed. Okay, doesn't have anything. I will bring this out. Nope, that is the next one. I think I actually missed that last time. Joseph T. Martin to be high over the Let us all praise their choice. The dance of investiture will take place without delay. I know it looks... I was inventing a new <laughs> kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking. Through the lock. Uh, what you do? I yeah, realize. Not, I don't mind this. Well, everything you're thinking, I already realize. I'm a natural philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not a gentleman, or I try to be one. Actually, do I have enough money at the this moment? Um, let's find out. You require my unique services. We can quickly return. Or to we yourself. can just do it here because you're such a genius. 
Ah. Guess not. Alright. If I don't have make enough money, I might as well just buy the sleep darts. That'd be nice. Oh. Right. Attention Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in By the way, um by respecting the property and rights of others in the To say this is and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair To say city. this is to admit to it, but um she's actually bathing fully dressed. <laughs> You can tell by looking at her with the dark vision. <laughs> She's fully dressed. Good morning, Corvo. I believe Sokolov is awake now. The Admiral is with him now. I'm sure they are ready to start on your arrival. They're yes. in old hound. Yes. Okay. Building at the far end of the Last. What is that? Oh, how do I keep forgetting those? I thought I picked them up. Like when I, oh god, how do I, how do I keep missing them? Okay, done, done. done. Still not enough. Attention, done. And citizens. here you are is something to boil nice. Any water from public fountains or the river. Anyone who has consumed untreated water must be reported to the watch. Now, if we talk to Sue, is that right? The young lady Emily was trying to sneak into your quarters while you slept, sir. I don't think she meant any harm. No, guess not. Maybe that's later. Okay, but we shall do with it now. No, that has nothing to do with it. Okay. One last thing. No? I thought you could do that at this point. That's weird. <coughs> Give me a moment. Ah. The reason why my throat is a bit sore, I think, is the coming in contact with cats once again. I am allergic, but they are so worth it. Plus, Shui hasn't seen me in forever, and he missed me the most. He was so happy, overjoyed when I came home. Okay. Useful stuff, useful stuff. Lots of money, okay. That should be enough. Oil, oil, and that should do it. Okay, so now we shall head back to P. Or there's still more money. I can actually okay. Let's get make sure get all of it, then go to Piero. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. Royal physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Ah, I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague. Oh, I've heard right. A swarm of rats so stripping good. a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? 
company you keep that interests us. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. Okay, lots of stuff. The very aristocrat was funding the military. What is this? She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Okay, you guys done? Alright. Let's head upstairs, grab all the goods. It's actually something I forgot to do, or... Yeah, something I forgot I had to, had to get. At least to do it the way I want. And, oh yeah, that was an elixir. What's, up, what's over there? Ha 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 Money. Money is over there. Excuse me, I'll be right back. This is a tall door. Oh, well this is a place I wouldn't have thought to look. Someone help! Everything's okay. Hmm. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Well, it's quite funny to do the rats. Perhaps you can find Here another way. Of which I approve. Well, out with it. I could use a drink. Not the swill to be found here. What are you thinking, Corvo? Spirits. Perhaps a bribe will work better than duress. Uh, God, it... I had a flask in my studio. Oh. Had I known I'd be leaving, I would have grabbed it. Well, he wants a drink at least, I guess. I'm not... There was some thing... I thought he would tell you what he wanted, but... Or someone would su give a suggestion, but... Guess not. But Piero has something. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor oh, he called tells King you. Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendician spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? I guess so. Okay, so first of all, let's buy it. Yes, we still have enough. Good. And that's it. Nothing more to display. Nothing else to upgrade at all for the rest of the game. Or... No, yeah, right. Still stuff we can purchase later on, but... Nothing else to upgrade. Alright. Fill up on those a bit. Get those numbers back up, because I've used quite a lot. It's not that I object to holding him hostage for a while, since he's been aiding the Lord Regent, but it's a shame. I always found him rather charming. I assume we will continue this soon. King Street Brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary <coughs> gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. Because that totally I fits in your pocket. Much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. 
A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Gormo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with him once you're on the ground. We'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out, in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself, and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I swear I never saw her face. Although I can vouch that her hindquarters are the finest in the city. And perhaps the Empire itself. Oh, God. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. Because you fact, already knew of this. Well, you didn't know that it was the Boyle's, I guess. But, sure. Oh. <laughs> that was hard. Did Samuel have one? Oh, guess not. Oh, get me out of here. Alright. So, we shall start this in the next episode, as usual. This one's actually a bit longer in between time, which isn't awful. It's, mm, there's a bit more to go on, but... I, as usual, I'll keep it to the thing. Blah blah blah. Like, no one cares what I'm talking about right now. This has been the Green Lightning Mr. T. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And to you I say, Aloha!